Hello there, subbies and not yet subbies. Also, hello, special hello to the new subbies. It occurred to me that I haven't actually done any kind of introduction video, so I'm going to say a few words now by way of introduction to those who never met me and those who've known me a long time. I'm relatively newly natural, did the Big Chop in April of 2009. Last relaxer was sometime in January 2009. I didn't keep track of the date because, to be honest, I didn't know it was going to be my last relaxer. I had been relaxing my hair for literally decades and getting more and more fed up with Every time there's some new growth, you've got to get the relaxer, put it on, deal with that kind of wet dog, limp look afterwards. Only really looks good for maybe a week or two. Then the roots are kinky and the rest is straight-ish and still had to flat iron if I wanted it really straight. And I didn't, never basically wore it really straight anyway. So, uh, in April of '09, I had a fair bit of new growth, and I thought, oh, why am I doing this? So, I just decided, I'm cutting off the straight ends, and um, that's it. Then I ran to YouTube to figure out what now, and got lots of ideas and advice and help of all sorts from the wonderful ladies uh, and men of YouTube. So I later decided, why don't I try my hand at making videos? And the rest, as they say, is history. Anyway, on to the topic of today's uh, video, which is using the nappy. Um, I wanted to do some styles that take advantage of the natural curl pattern of my hair uh, as opposed to um, doing rod sets um, or uh, braiding it up. So uh, this is one. Uh, this is comb coils which I haven't done actually in quite a while. So my hair was a fair bit shorter the last time I did comb coils. I prepared for this by co-washing with Suave Professionals Sleek, which is a new uh, sub-brand, I guess you could call it, um, which it's labeled for dry, frizzy hair. What I actually wanted was a shea butter, shea butter almond, but they were sold out. So I decided to try that. It's not bad. Then I left a tiny bit of the Giovanni Direct 50-50 uh, balanced uh, moisturizing calming, I think it's called, um, conditioner, uh, a, a small amount as a leave-in. Then I used this Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel. Uh, I actually don't really use this because I find that it does nothing to my hair. Uh, I bought it because it was a locking gel and I wanted something that had quite a bit of hold and that would keep uh, any twists um, twisted uh, for a long time. But I find, you know, they claim that it has no build up and, uh, you know, it's wonderful for locking your hair or keeping your twists uh, maintained. But um, it really just doesn't do much to my hair. But I want to use it up. So I decided uh, I'm going to do some comb coils. So I'm going to use this as my gel. Um, I also thought, well, maybe now that my hair is a little longer, uh, maybe this gel will do something more. Um, it didn't, but uh, was a nice thought. So I put a generous amount of that locking gel on, uh, 
made parts with the back of my rat tail comb, took individual sections, um, comb coiled it, and uh, let it dry. I did that last night, uh, took about two hours. Unfortunately, I had to sleep, so I uh, put on a bonnet and went to sleep, and in the morning, it looked uh, insane. It, you know, some of it was like folded up, and some of it was hanging down, and it just wasn't wearable. So I uh, moistened it in the shower, and I basically, using the same existing comb coils, I retightened, so to speak, put some more of that gel on and uh, twisted it and actually clipped it, uh, you know, close to the roots the way that people do in their lock maintenance videos and let it air dry that way so that they would fall more, you know, straight down. And when they're dry, I took the clips off and I put a little bit of grapeseed oil on my hands um, and added it in just for shine because I like shine. And um, that's it. Uh, I just, I was trying to style it, but putting it up just didn't look right. And then I thought, well, the coils are the style, so just go with that. And I just put on my blingy uh, headband and earrings and this is it. I hope to uh, keep it like this for a couple of days. Uh, I'll switch up the headband, of course, but um, let me know what you think.